Hey guys, I'm Izzy from O Weekly and welcome to this Warlords General Raiding Guide. Today we'll be taking a look at the Mythic Twin Ogron encounter in High Mall. This guide will cover the changes from Heroic to Mythic, so if you don't know the Heroic mechanics, check out our Heroic Twin Ogron video guide. Being the dumb Ogron that they are, the Imperator decides to help them out on Mythic. He does this by enchanting them with Arcane Energies one Ogron at a time. This causes them to have two ability changes and one new mechanic. First off, when Phemos is empowered, his Whirlwind will have the added Arcane Vortex effect, which will pull everyone into him. This will mean that while other mechanics such as Fire on the Ground are going on, you'll have to deal with being pulled in by moving away from Phemos. When Phemos is empowered, you will also have to deal with Arcane Volatility. This is a debuff that will go on multiple players at the same time, and after 6 seconds it will explode dealing a lot of Arcane damage to anyone within 8 yards of the player. This means that if you get the debuff, you will have to move out of the group and away from others with the debuff as well. Now when Paul is empowered, his shield charge will have the arcane charge added to it. When Paul does his shield charge, three arcane copies will spawn that will charge to the left, to the right and behind him a couple of seconds after he charges. These will have the same effect as Paul's shield charge, but do arcane damage instead of physical damage. Other than the mechanic changes, they of course have an increased health pool and deal more damage. Dealing cleaving damage that increases your overall damage on them is definitely advised because these are a step up compared to Kargath. And of course, dealing with these additions is easier said than done. We tried a couple of different positionings and found the one you see in the video to work the best. It's also easy to get caught out of position as you'll see with the first round of abilities in the video. We have everyone off to the side of the room to have to dodge as little fire as possible. The ranged and healers stack up in a group not too far away from the tanks and melee, but we make sure to still have space to the left of the group. No one should be standing there until after Paul decides his target for a shield charge. This is so that everyone can move to the left without having to worry about getting hit by the shield charge. The tank tanking Phemos moves into the middle of the room to have Whirlwind out of the raid and still at a decent distance for everyone to move away from it, especially when it's empowered. Those that get arcane volatility will of course have to move out of the group, and when there's a pulverize the group will need a light spread to not get beaten down by the damage coming from each player. During our tries we found that due to the combination of abilities, it wasn't always that easy to have the ranged move into the melee for enfeebling roar to share the damage debuff. Because of this we had a tank that tanked Phemos move him towards the ranged group when the roar was about to happen. Which is pretty much all the advice I can give you. Like I said, dealing with the additions is easier said than done and you'll definitely need to just do some pulls and get used to the new waves and motions of the fight. So good luck! If you liked this rating guide, please comment, subscribe and click on the like button. Be sure to check out our other content at wowweekly.net and if you would like to keep up with when new videos come out, but you don't have a YouTube account, you can also follow us on Facebook or Twitter at facebook.com slash wowweekly or twitter.com slash bbmezzy. For now, I'm Mezzy and I'll see you again next time.